that's that's all I do. I'd also say that a lot. If I was a therapist, just like, oh my gosh, so and so, blah blah blah, I'd be like, that's a mood. That's mood. <laughs> Yeah, so that is Rashid. That's a rad Bowser main from Northern Kentucky. Goes to NKU. Yep, Bowser did it. Bowser did it. <laughs> so remember, Negro Dama's prediction. There's gonna be a lot of weird matchups you don't see often. <laughs> Never have I seen a Bowser Ditto in this game. I. I'm buffering. Hold on. <laughs> Trying to figure it out. Hey, I mean, if anybody can bel kill Bowser, I feel like it would be Bowser. That's true. You know what? That that <laughs> sounds goofy, but that's, that's a, a very good, good take on this matchup. All right. So I think the back of the key here is going to be space. Uh, fast moves like side B and uh, neutral air can create so much damage, but it, they can be easily outspaced by those exact same moves. Oh, and fair. Sorry, I neglected fair. Bowser's fair is like low key top five fairs in the game. And that's not even a hot take. Like, it's just super good. So, yeah, it's literally even. Also, I like this because it's not, Bowser's not like super, you know, grab into imagination anymore. Yeah. He still has throw combos, but I love that they made him like function outside yeah. of a single mechanic. Yeah. You have to like think a lot harder about the combo strings that you're going to get. It's not just up throw, up air, up air. Right. GG's. Exactly. <laughs> He still has grab range for days. I don't think it's, I don't think it's as extreme as it was back in like four or even brawl. But like, yeah, it's it's definitely still prevalent. This is actually a totally even match so far. They're only like a single edge guard apart. Oh, hit him with that F tilt. Yeah, the F tilt's super good. Uh, I believe there's still intangibility on his hands. Um, pretty sure, and uh, it's such an underrated tool in this kit. I shouldn't even say underrated. It's a strong tool, but there's other tools that are so much better. Yeah. You know? Ooh, that Ooh. was a nice uh, roll read there. Yeah, that's a heck of a punish for the roll read. Down B. Up, oh, he's dead. And yeah. off the platform. Yeah, off the platform to make it even worse, too. Chasing out those fares. So another thing is that it's going to be hard for Bowser to get like the big combos on Bowser, but you're going to get to see a lot of how they react to being in danger. Like you just saw Rookie dare out of disadvantage, but if Rag is to read on that, he can like potentially F smash and get like way more, you know, out of his combo strings. That's good. Trapping his landing too, backing up, letting him throw those neutral layers out. That's that's what I think is going to be the, another big caveat here. He's doing a really good job of like baiting Rookie into choosing options that he doesn't yes. necessarily have to choose. At the ledge, we saw him. Uh get up attack earlier when Brad was not near the ledge and uh, got a punish off of that. He's just kind of waiting at the ledge, making him pick an option and then punishing accordingly rather than trying to uh, fish for something. Right. You know, despite the percent deficit, Rookie is going to take that second. I felt it. I knew. Sometimes when you let somebody live for that long, especially when you have this much kill power, you just you just see things yeah. you didn't even know. So now things are literally 0-0 zero, zero in the Bowser Ditto. So this is going to be neat. I can see this going to game three. The, oh, up throw to neutral air. Ton of damage. 37% for free. Let's see if Rookie can fire back with something of his own. Oh, right now, again. So, I think Rad has had a better control of the neutral. That was an interesting interaction, anyway. Yeah, well, that's, that's a risky challenge. See that down with me, but like, you know what? Flame breath, it's fine. Ooh. So, what I'm seeing is that Rookie is really good offstage for these ledge guards, but Rad is really good with the onstage neutral. Mm -hmm. So it's crazy how even this is, and that they both like excel in completely different areas with the same character. Oh, trying to confirm something? Um, wow. Wow, Rookie takes that first game. And, and that's unfortunate because you saw Rad going for the same kill combo, but he either he misspaced it or something was a little bit off, and then Rookie was just like, well, I got it. You know? yeah. You yeah, don't got it. Show, I got it. Let me show you how it's done. Yeah, let me show you. <laughs> it, maybe he got hit and it was like, that's a good idea. I'm going to steal that. <laughs> but yeah, really close. Um, I feel like it's like two brothers wrestling. What'd you say? It's like two brothers wrestling. Dude, bro. Uh, where's my hot pocket? Uh, dude. Mom <laughs> said I could have it. It's my turn on the Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> it's, my, it's my turn on the Xbox. All right. Let's see who's going to get that Xbox. So we're going to go back to this stage, uh, which is, a, I mean, they're both really good on PS2. Yeah. Oh, God, the feet. And that's so wild. On hit, he was negative and 832%. Mm -hmm. 
But I mean, you know, low percent, that's, ba that's bound to happen. Trapped in that flame breath is really unfortunate. That's a lot of percent, and as a big body character like Bowser, he's going to take a lot of percent if he gets trapped in the beginning of it. Um, kind of want to watch out for that. Rad didn't really get hit by that a lot game one. He kind of waited it out and then uh, punished accordingly, but it is a lot of percent. He needs to watch out for that. Oof. Look at the damage on this. Uh, that side be pretty much evening everything back up. Rad again showing us that his on stage presence is crazy good and now starting to get a little bit edge guarding in on his own. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's going to get the first stop. That was smart though. And then Bowser's Fair is just such an insanely good edge guard tool. Mm -hmm. Not even necessarily just in the ditto, but you can just go so deep with that move. I think a lot of people really like, if you haven't experienced it, like now you know, you know? Mm -hmm. Ooh, Rad is really running away with I this I think game a too. lot of different fairs, like Palutena's fair and um, other characters, like, even if you guess right as to whether they go high or low, there's still a chance that, like, they'll misspace it. Whereas I feel like Bowser's fair is so big that if he guesses whether you're going high or low and he's right, you're probably dead. Even if you end up behind him, it still yeah. has a giant hitbox on the other side of him, too. Nice. Good patience. He threw out the down tilt trying to two frame and then he read the uh, get up attack. So now, oh, that back air from coast to coast is still going to kill. <laughs> I don't think it was uh, DI'd optimally. I'm sure he wasn't ready for it. But even if it was, yeah, I, I think, think it, it still would have killed. I don't think it would have mattered. Yeah, it's, it's just so strong. There's so much knockback on that thing. Rad's got a great lead right now. Um, but as we've seen, rookie Ooh. is not Ooh. anything to sleep on. You know what, honestly, he almost got the game. Because if that dare send him off stage, that would have been it for uh, game two. I love how Bowser does what she can't. Yeah. <laughs> does exactly what she used to do, but better. Nice. Look at the vortex. Oh, oh wow. It was a train coming through. <laughs> it was. That is the bravest thing I've seen all day. We've seen that a lot. Um, from Rookie, he's been doing a lot of downbeat to the ledge. I think it's because it's such a fast option and it just drops him down real quick. Um, not really letting Rashid get any fares or anything or uh, down tilts to get him off the ledge. So, trying to take a stock with it there. That's terrifying. It is. <laughs> if you can about that too, it's just, oh, wow. Look yeah. at what I've done today. I really drove here for this. <laughs> like, it just feels so bad. I drove all the way here to get downbeat by a Bowser at the ledge. Yeah, I hate to see it. So, I don't know if you're on the ledge and then Bowser downbeats to the ledge, will it knock you off? Like, will it spike you or anything? Or will it just knock you off? I am too afraid to find out. Because <laughs> every time I see that, I'm like, I have to go. Yeah, we have to leave. Like, I'll see you. My ride's here. I'm out. <laughs> There's no way. I've never been hit by that specific thing. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. We might. And uh, it definitely seemed like Rad took a page out of Rookie's book because he was going for way more aggressive ledge guards in the uh, previous in the game two, and it ended up getting netting him a two stop. Ooh, Rad is playing really well. Uh, let's see if Rookie can make it back to center stage. He's trapped to the ledge again. Okay, he's able to jump high. Uh, Rad guessed wrong, even with fair, surprisingly. Kind of waiting for him to pick these aggressive options and then um, grabbing him and side being him. Bro, <laughs> that was almost read of the year right there. Popped oh. up above the ledge with that uh, up B. Caught him off guard, I think. Yeah, it was a good mix-up. And uh, he might even try to drop shield early. Yeah. Gotta be careful. Okay, he went for an edge guard, but now he's he's kind of like eating the brunt of the damage from yeah. that. And he's already down. There's going to be a lot more. Yeah, Rad's just playing. Rad has really figured the ditto out uh, by the third game. Rookie again trying to get him that booty. It's <laughs> out B. Trying to booty him down, but he's not body, he's not going for it. Body slamming him off the bunk bed. Oh, nice up smash from a rookie, but not enough to take it. And Rad's recovering really well, too. He's like, all right, if you want to edge guard me, I'm going to make you really work for it. I'm going to make you, like, expend as many resources as I can. All right, rookie does get that stock. He's back on the board, but way down a percent. Any straight hit, yeah. even a successful hit, since he's at low percent, that he ends up negative again, again he might die. And he just powered right through that, punched him with that F tilt. Um, didn't take the stock, but still. He said, man, it's not hot. <laughs> Feeling it? Another good read on that get up attack. Yeah, Rad is really good at less trapping. Mm -hmm. So, let me rephrase. I think Rookie's really good at edge guarding. Rad is super good at less trapping. Yes. Ooh, and these combos, too. Yeah. And I think uh, both players have, ooh, gosh, oh, gotta watch out for that uh, down B on your shield can. Uh, Break your shield. And yeah, he's lucky he didn't. Really <gasps> oh, oh no! the air dodge off. Oh, man. 
that's, that's gonna, a game changer. That's a huge game changer. That gives rookie momentum, and also like gives it to him in like a weird way, where like Rad might be extra angry. Despite that, he seems to be playing unfazed, just really keeping the pressure going. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of damage from rookie though. Is he gonna land? He read it. Oh! oh! No! Girl, no! Oh no! You Thirty-nine percent. The crazy thing about that is there have been so many downbees in this set, and that's the one time he didn't get like the optimized punish. And then a shield break almost happened right before. I can't remember which one did it, but it's just like you gotta stay present and aware that that can happen, and especially in the ditto, and especially you know, maining that character.